Welcome to the Life with Alvo, Piano's podcast. I'm Yayan's house. <laughs> Welcome to the Life with the Alvo, Piano's podcast. That was perfect, Kuya. That was perfect, love. Good job. Good so, take. what's the topic for today? Saving money. Wow. Yes. Do you know how to? Uh huh. Really? Yes. Have you been saving? But sometimes, sometimes I don't. But I saved when when I had my own stall. When I was in my school, I was selling waffles. Okay. I got eight hundred and fifty. That's us. And I didn't know where my pesos was. <laughs> so so it's still there. Ah, uh-huh. yeah, which is actually a good way of uh, right? That that is a saving strategy for some, right? Right. For just losing money, <laughs> for just losing your wallet. You lose it's, your money. It's hidden somewhere. Well, you don't lose it, but you put it away somewhere where you don't really see it or where it's not easily accessible. Mm-hmm. But because you have it there and you're not accessing it, <laughs> it's. Being put aside. So that, 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 is, segue, mama, huh? that is a good uh, saving strategy. Maybe just don't lose your money because you really lost it. Right. Maybe, maybe... Uh, uh, hi. Hi, love. Do you want to be part of the conversation, baby bro? Yes. Okay, okay, well... Somebody just woke up from his Good nap. morning. Hey, say good morning. Good morning. Okay. Hi. Hi. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, by the way, baby bro, we're talking about saving. Okay. Do you have experience on saving money? Yes. Oh, really? Yes. How much do <laughs> yes. you save? How much do you save? On um, my Robux. Wow. No, he didn't. <laughs> he has four Robux. How? And he has four Robux. Fast. Oh, okay. okay. All right. So, and pan- you went in a so fast. Mm. And it was so fast. And yeah. money. Yeah, you spend your money so fast. Okay, so if we have pesos, the equivalent... And if we spend that so fast, mm-hmm. right away, it's a waste of money yeah. if you don't use it. So the equivalent to the pesos that you and I and use? Oh. If, oh. if, if. No, talk there. If <laughs> you have no more pesos left and you want to buy food, bad luck. <laughs> So, this is how I try to explain, you know, saving money and, you know, Mama, using it for things that God you for. need more. And pasta. And pasta. Okay, so yeah, kung ano yung pesos namin ni Drew, yun yung pera ni Primo and Leon, it's Robux. It's the money that they spend in their game. Right. Okay, so... I spend it because I... I'm just listening, by the way, guys. I'm just listening. Yeah. Okay, so let, it goes let me, down in stone it went down in the water. Okay, so let me explain. We it let them use Robux because I'm hoping that we'll be, we'll be able to kind of teach them how to use their Robux slash money mm-hmm. uh, through through how they use their Robux. Yeah, but uh, it's 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 been a it's been quite challenging. Oi. But my zombie dito. Thanks. So it's been yeah. quite challenging, but you know, I, I'm hoping eventually we will get there. Okay, so how do we handle our finances, love? You just we down. need to handle money because if we say if we waste that bad luck, bad we'll have no food. Yeah. And if you save your money, you'll be able to buy anything. Even when you save money, mm-hmm. you you must get more money by do, doing work, mm-hmm. selling, mm-hmm. or anything that gives you money. Oh. Okay. What, what work do you do? I do life without <laughs> We are not earning from this project, we are. We are not earning from this project. Oh! We're not paying you. We're not paying you. We're not paying you. We're we're paying a few people. (laughs) This is truly a Life with the Arellanos podcast. Hey, dude, say hi. Oh, boy. Say wave there. Say hi. Say hi. Love, love, love.
Yanos. Oh, sorry. This is all of the Abu Yanos now. Okay, okay. And for that, I think, uh, okay, you guys. We, we need to this cut is first. Gonna, this is going to be too out of control. It's okay. going to yeah. be fun. Okay, you oh, know what you can gonna do? It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. Okay. So, uh, say, say hi first. Say hi first. Hi. And say bye. 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 Say see you later. <laughs> Bye, guys. Woo! Life with the Arlianos, uh, <laughs> it really is. Uh, where were we? Uh, finances. <laughs> um, so how... Love, I think, you know, the way we handle our finances is mm. actually very um, out of the ordinary because I do believe that mm. in most households, okay. yung babae yung nakahandle. That's right. That's why I buy my motorcycles. Just kidding. Uh, <laughs> no, um, I think... It's different for us. It's very different for us. We, and we kind of, like, to this day, we still kind of, we have our his and hers. Uh, yes, we do. Like, you have your account, I have my account. We and also have a joint, uh, we also have a joint account. Right, right, right. I think, I think... Um, we set it up that way, and I think it's pretty healthy, also. It's, and it's what works for us. What, what's it? What works for us, and at the same time, it's uh, we're very transparent. Mm. Um, oh, kasi lahat ng mga <laughs> mga in order ko dumadaan din naman kasi sa yo. Oh, pati oh yeah, oh nga pala, you pay for this, you pay for this. But it's 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 pretty much we all know what we're. Alam yung alam natin yung galaw ng pera natin. Right. Okay. So, paano nga ba to? Paano nga ba naging ganun yung yung uh, setup natin? Love. I am seven years your senior. Yes. That's one. Two, I started business very early yes. in my life. Yes, daddy. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, 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 I started doing business uh, when I was 20 years old. Yeah. Uh, learning how to, to spend money. I uh, actually learned it the hard way because I, I spent a lot of money from the business. And, you know, you know, these are the things that yeah. you experience in, and you learn from. In a nutshell, mas experience siya, mas magaling siya when Oof. it comes to handling money. I grew up not even touching my money <laughs> because mm. my mom was doing a lot of the handling for me. But your mom... But thank wow. God my mom I has been... I gotta say. Yeah. When, so when we got married and you were already... Of course, when we were boy, boyfriend and girlfriend, we don't really talk about these things yeah. because it's major kind of off. Yeah. But when we got married already, syempre, kailangan na natin pag-usapan to dahil yeah. It, yeah. It's, it's part of the relationship. It's part of the package. And when I learned that your mom invested this, this and, that. and that and ganyan I was actually pretty blown away mm. uh, until now your, your your mom is so good with with uh, handling. handling money in general uh, or or your uh, your mom is not just good with investing or she invested a lot of your money with real estate yeah. uh, good stuff um, and to 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 make it a point that your mom's so I guess it values money so much. Sa sabi niya sa kanya, Drew, may ako na hanap na ganyan. Makakasave tayo ng 129 pesos. <laughs> Ma, sabi ko, okay na yan. Kasi para lang, syempre yung 129 na yan. I mean, not that minamaliit lang namin hindi, yung 129. Sinasabi ko lang na parang ma, ano lang, parang Bayad na lang tayo niyan para lang hindi masyadong yes. hassle na sa oras mo. Yes. Yun, you know, you know, yun yung parang we we out things. Yeah. The convenience, you pay for convenience. You pay for your time because your time times that time yeah. is actually a currency and yeah. it can be lost. Anyway, so your mom handled your money so yes. well. But to a fault. To a fault that hindi ako masyado natuto. True. True. Sometimes, sometimes, and and it, that wasn't her objective. No. Her object, her objective was. Her objective was to just save my money because she didn't want me to have to go through the hardships that she went through. Not save. And that's gonna make me cry. Yes. Okay. Not save. A lot of people would save, but your mom invested. Uh, you malaking bagay yon. Yeah, yeah. Malaking bagay yon na parang make it grow. to make it grow. Yeah. So that hindi na hindi ka na kailangan maghirap. Yeah. Katulad ng ginawa niya. Yeah. Which is which I think is a great uh 
I like a, a great model mm-hmm. or a great example that maybe um, other young women might also want to practice because the reason why it worked out so well for mom and I was mm. because mom invested my money at a time when I actually didn't need to use it. Right. I didn't need it to build a house. I didn't need it for my children because mm-hmm. I was still very young. And so what mom was, what mom did was she put that money aside and invested in my insurances, in, mm-hmm. in, uh, in whatever, real in, in real estate. Mm-hmm. And so by the time that I needed money because Drew and I were getting married now, and of course we were preparing for a family, by the time I needed money, I didn't have to worry about the money that she had right. invested. Right. Because by that time, halos patapos na ako mag, mag halos patos, patapos na kaming bayaran yun. Right. And I, and I remember you had this list. I remember that. I had that list. Yeah, that list. Ito yung kailangan ko bayaran, I love. That list and then next year, ito yung kailangan ko bayaran. By 2014. Tapos by 20, ako. ganyan, okay na. By, 20, by 2020, ito na lang yung babayaran ko yearly. Ito na lang yung kailangan kong iset aside hmm. para bayaran yung mga ganito, yung ganyan, ganito, ganyan. Right. Um, so yeah, malaking bagay that mom got me started much younger because it would have been a different story if she started now kung kailan I need this money for the kids I need this money for something else and then at the same time I'm also trying to invest right medyo mahirap yun so invest your money early yeah that's why that's 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 why uh, Ian and I you know we've been we've been talking about uh, prioritizing um financial knowledge that we want our kids Children. to learn as early as possible yeah. because sayang nagtatrabaho uno muna you're working yes everyone everyone needs to work and in some mindset ko not everyone needs to work hard people can actually work smart mm. and have the same uh, amount of pay or whatever it is kasi di ba at the end of the day you want time and freedom. You want time actually to be spent on some things that you are happy to spend on. Okay. Diba? Like, ako, I want to spend time with you guys. So you wanna you, you wanna work smart. Okay. You you wanna get stuff done already so that you can actually prioritize other aspects in your life that you want to prioritize. What do you say? How do you say that financial freedom? It's that's something that you go by. Eh? Okay, I'm not a financial guru, <laughs> like super, but it's just that my experience. Okay, the end goal is having at least three sources of income. Mm-hmm. That's the end goal, at least, so that, uh, and w- so that you'll have uh, the freedom of time eventually. And oh, when you have, yeah. when, because that's what you want, naman, kasi, diba? And I keep on reiterating this. I keep on telling this. For me, time is currency. The, the richest man in the world cannot buy a second of time. So, a lot of people are working, they're, they're, they're quote-unquote corporate slaves because they feel that they need to, to work. We, 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 yes, we talk about this ever since before. I, I remember I told you, and biglang namulit na ako, why do we need to go to, to a good school? Of course, good school? You can actually uh, have good work because corporations will get you because apparently you, that, co- well that's why right? and then when you have a good when you have good work good school, then you have work, then you'll earn good pay then you'll have if you have good pay then pretty much you You've got money and that's you you, you can spend uh, but the thing is people people just tend to work and have that monetary goal pero that goal will always be pushed. But the thing is, take lang. You think about it. Is 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 the objective only monetary? Is that your main goal in life? And then you think about, take lang. What is my purpose in life, ba? Is it is like it really what, to what just earn that, money? What is it that you want to spend your time on? Oh, because the thing is, when you're talking about working, you're talking about what eight, ten, twelve hours, sometimes fourteen hours a day. You spend so much time working because you're, you you want to try to earn. 
Pero you're earning and you're spending money naman on stuff that you don't need to spend on. Like? Look, whatever it is. You go to, you go to coffee shops and you pay 100 pesos for coffee pero hindi pasok yan sa, sa, sa sahod mo. I mean, a lot of people... Uh, a lot of people can say do that uh, have that type of mindset now this is this is uh, I, I earned this much so I guess I can actually pay for 100 120 pesos for a cup of coffee every day and that's how much now that's already what 100 times 30 mm. that's 3,000 already <laughs> and you're talking about 3,000 pesos for coffee monthly Whatever transportation, whatever. I'm, I'm just, I'm just saying. I think pinag-usapan natin yung luho natin the last episode, mm. um, and it's fair also to talk about how you should handle money. And this is our mindset. This has been my mindset ever since. Now, the reason why uh, we do luho, we have luho, because kahit papano, you need to have, uh, you, you need to compartmentalize your finances. Mm -hmm. Ako, how I think is, we have a salary and the salary will actually pay for the utilities. Mm. And this is how I think. Okay. okay. And the utilities, you have your, of course, electricity, you have your water bill, uh, you need to pay for you know, your helpers, you need to pay for, for gas, you need to pay for, for uh, our food. Mm -hmm. Diba? Uh, and then we get to save pa. Dapat. Okay? And then, we have second, third, fourth, five other sources of income which are very important. Because itong mga sources of income na to, you need to think of, okay, we need to set up our passive income. We need to think of investing property, investing whatever it is, so that, that, so that money will be generated while we sleep. Mm. Diba? So we're, we're thinking of businesses already. Kasi what if, like what happened during the pandemic, if you have only one source of income, which is your work, mm. na, na walang ka ng work, paano na? Yeah. So, I'm, I'm, and this is, the, of course, there are so many, um, I guess, finance. Which I think naging blessing then for a lot of people out there because they were forced to discover or find something else out there to be able to survive. Absolutely. Yeah. And I think if, in yeah, like what we've been saying, if the pandemic hasn't taught you anything, then man, yeah, major problem yon. Because uh, and daming, and daming, and daming knowledge, and daming uh, lessons, life experience yeah. and life lessons that we learned from the pandemic. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people um, pivoted. Like for example, they lost their, their day job. A lot of people pivoted. They they started their SMEs, small medium mm. uh, businesses, like you know, a, from from their kitchen. They they made their own whatever concoction. Kare kare ni mama, ito ibibenta ko online. Ganyan. Mm. So I like I super love the idea. But yun nga, at the same time, um, these are the things na oi, pwede ko palang gawin to while doing another thing. So all I'm saying is that uh, at this day and age. And and I'm sure a lot of people will will you know fry me in, in social media or whatever. But I'm just saying that um, it's not the same type of mindset anymore. It it won't work anymore all the time. Nah, you're gonna have what well, you ha you need to good go to a good school. school, land a good job, have a good life. It doesn't really work. That's it's that, not foolproof. It, it's not foolproof. It's not foolproof. All I'm saying is that um, be more open-minded, uh, be more resourceful, mm. be mindful of what's happening now. Because, and look forward. And and yeah, and and because I'm telling you, you need to have this carte right now to actually. Because for me, I'd rather I'd rather get this guy who has who has more discarte than a guy who graduated from ganyan. Ako, ah, for me. For me. I'm gonna hire that guy na mas mas discarte dahil alam ko, kahit saan mo, kahit saan mo, kahit saan mo ilagay yan, he, he or she will find ways. Okay. So, love, okay. Um, for instance, when, when we make money, hmm. Like, diba, normally some people put like a certain percent here, another percent right. here, another right. percent in the bank, and then itoing percent na pwedeng uh, igastos. Mm -hmm. 
what what are your percentages? For me, there's no specific percentage. For me, kasi like what I mentioned a while ago, the salary dun ko kukunin yung mga monthly natin. Needs. Yung mga oh. monthly natin. Diyan ko kukunin yan. At kung ano mang natira, automatic save yan. Mm-hmm. Okay? Yung mga so bonuses much, natin... Okay. That's when you can... That's what you can spend. Hindi. Hindi pa. Hindi na. Hindi pa. Yung mga bonuses natin, sabihin na natin when it comes to social media. And and of course, we as much as possible, we want to try to be more relatable because not a, not a lot of people have endorsements. Have the same opportunities. Uh, and yeah. have the same opportunities as we have. But I, all I'm saying is that the bonuses, what we do we prioritize investing in stocks. And the stocks that we invest are blue chip stocks. Low risk. Okay? So, non-volatile. Just Google. I'm not even gonna name the, the, these companies or corporations, these blue chips. But just Google blue chips, blue chip stocks in the Philippines. These are stable corporations, stable companies. Okay? In different industries. So, na alam mo, kakalimut- kalimutan mo yon. And even though sometimes it's gonna dip, it's gonna increase, you know eventually because these are stable companies mm. that will actually be more valuable in the future. Mm. So I'm, I'm, I'm like, a, I'm not even betting. Parang you are assured na at least okay na sila. Did you, you, know? did you ever love? Mm-hmm. Were you and malaking bagay to, ah. malaking bagay that I am around people who know how to handle money, money. because I, we learn from one another yeah, that's true. you have to be financially knowledgeable and you have to talk about what's happening hey of course hey uh, crypto syempre naging discussion yan mm-hmm. did we actually invest in crypto yes i did but not heavily because high high volatile mm-hmm. uh, uh, you know you got your nfts did that was that part of the conversation? It's still part of the conversation. We don't know, eh. But yung yung crypto ko because it's high volatile. It's 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 so high risk, eh. Yeah. You can, it can go up. It can go down. Ano yan? Yun yung mga sige konti lang. Lagi ako ng konte. Mm-hmm. You never know, eh. You never know. But the majority of our investments are blue chips mm-hmm. and real estate because it's there. It's tangible. And siguradong it will just increase in value. So sure. Ako, a- ako kasi hindi ako risk taker pagdating sa pera natin. Mm-hmm. No way. No way. Were you ever at the, at any point a risk taker? Because I'm sure maybe in your earlier years maybe you were. No. No. I was. No. I was. When I started stocks when I was you know 20 years old, it was always blue chips. Mm. Because I. I mean, unang muna. I, I, it's not in my personality to. I, I, oh, by the way, I don't bet. Like I don't bet. Like in games, in 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 golf, in in whatever basketball, I don't go to the casino. I mean, I tried, but I, I, that's not part of my personality. Yeah. You're talking about money here, eh? Mm-hmm. Uh, so I'd rather be sure. Mm. Mm. That's me. A lot of people have different mindsets, but that's me. Yeah. And it's been working so far. Mm-hmm. I, you know, I get to I get to sleep. Property because I know that for the past nearly 20 years that I've been investing, it's okay. Naman. And so. I think you, it, it, it helped a lot that during your earlier years, you were able to learn even if it meant having to learn the hard way. And I learned because I started, I started my business with a, a partner of mine. I learned it and no one told me. You know what I mean? So, yeah. parang my dad didn't tell me, my mom didn't tell. Of course, they 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 influence. They influence me a bit, of course, for sure. Pero right now, I want them as early as possible to learn how to not save but to invest. Mm. Okay. Uh-huh. See, it was different for me because uh, I was really lucky that I never had to go through those hardships. Mm. Because true enough, what mom was trying to spare me from. She are the hardships. Was, she was able to. Yes. And so, because she was so careful with how to use my money, what to do with it, I I never had, uh, and I'm so blessed that I, that I guess I didn't have to go through that. But then I guess it's also 
important. A great learning experience. So it, should I have so gone yeah, through something like outside that? Outside looking in, that's what I'm actually observing. Like the first generation, they they're gonna be work. They work the hard, so hard. They're the hard workers. Because yeah. the second generation, ay na nila maghirap. Oh, ang nangyari yan. The second generation, hindi marunong maghirap. Hindi na nila alam kung Alam, alam mo yan, something goes wrong. So, ako yung second generation. <laughs> no, no, no. Something goes wrong. To, to, to your point nga, to what we were talking about now, tama eh. There has to be a balance. Mm. Na parang, no. Some, the, you, people need to actually experience that because experiencing, ito yan eh. Winning is a great experience. Losing is also a great experience because that losing experience is a, a learning, learning experience. experience. Those are very, that's very important. Hmm. So I know like in a, a great family, a tycoon, we know this. Um, even though the first generation worked so hard, the next generations, they had to go through the same uh, type learning, of learning experience. They had to go, like they had to start working entry level, so that alam nila kano pinagdaanan. I'm not gonna name the the, the 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 tycoon's family, but it's been working so far. The culture, it's family culture. Yung tipong a lot of people, they 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 they, they know the hardships because and they respect people of. Of uh, what of, do you call it? Yeah, of, of different, uh, of different levels, hierarchy, of different yes, levels. Yes. Uh, absolutely, because they experience that. So I feel that ganun din dapat with the kids. Yeah. And I like we want them to experience the hardships uh, when it comes to to handling money. Failing, failing is so important. It's part of of the championship or champion mentality. You know, you talk about it, it, it's it, what's great about social media is that these these very um, how should I say this? Parang inspirational quote, quotes or or videos or reels we get from social media. Michael Jordan missed so many shots, but he made important ones because yeah. he was failing and he didn't want to fail anymore. Or even in the Olympics, where you see back in 2016, you know, you have all these athletes that you know. You know, Failing. their misses and yeah. the big lang in 2020. Right. Gold. Right. Yeah. And I was I was talking to a, a friend of mine, uh, James, a uh, golfer. And there's this 19-year-old golfer who was a champion already. But there was this match wherein he missed like a three-foot putt. And he was he felt so bad. Mm. But kami, naisip namin ni James, oh wow, good luck sa inyo lahat. Because that person, that kid will never forget about that three foot putt and he will just, he will strive. He's going to be, He's gonna be better. That. So, you know, in connection to that, that's what we want to teach our kids. Now, yeah. hey, we're not going to spoon feed you. You're going to, you're going to do this. You're going to try this as early as possible. We're not going to force you, but here, here, here are the tools. Now, specifically, what can we do? Or for how, our... how are we applying this? Mm, well, there was an entrep, entrep type of class. Na medyo, yeah. what it was like a six to eight um, session. Session um, uh, I, uh, program. course program uh, that that Primo attended to or was part. Was a part of. Um, it was an. Primo was just six. It, of course, Primo was sixty years old. It was an attempt to. You know, kind of get him familiar with you know this is how it is when you're setting up your own business you think of your product mm -hmm. you think of um, the, the, the money that you're going to spend um, like the, the cost mm -hmm. and the pricing and what else what else were they trying to teach I mean you know there's only so much that they can that they can take in in you know, in, in, in a in a program like that, it, it's really how they the practice. It's really how they practice it. Cause yeah, I feel mm -hmm. like love the practicing. I'm I'm hoping because you know they love to play Roblox so much, right. Ro Roblox so much. I'd really like to think that their use of Roblox will somewhat absolutely kind of you know get I, their brains working with okay. Hey. So if I 
Ah, oh, but I need Robux for this and I have the time. Well, what happened to the Robux that I gave you? Did you spend it on something that you didn't really need? So mm. I think that that for me is my perfect opportunity to teach them, well, you know, next time, if you don't need to buy this skin or you don't need to buy this certain accessory, then love, you can save up your Robux and actually buy it. <laughs> this this character or this game pass or this whatever that and then, you then, want more and I, and I remember you said okay i'll give you more robux if you save if you can show if me if you can show me the, after how many days yeah. if you can show me but that by saturday you still have 800 robux i'm gonna give you free 400 robux Ayun. Nakakalimutan, <laughs> Nakakalimutan. <laughs> which reminds me of myself when i was a kid because i remember my mom and <sighs> I, of course, I remember this. My mom gave me an ATM. Okay? Mm. Oh, save, ah. Ano ginawa ko? Pumunta sa Green Hills. Winidraw. Binili lahat comics. Mm. Wala, lang, wala lang natira. Uh-huh. So, so yun yung ayaw natin That's a learning eh. No, I mean, it's a learning it's experience a learning for experience. me. Yeah. So, for me, I think, you know what, love? I think kung saan din tayo naglalak, I think... I well, I lack in reminding him because of course, nakakalimutan niya na meron pala siyang ganitong goal. Right. I think we need to put it somewhere mm-hmm. or maybe every morning or every time before he has game time na love, remember, we have a deal. Because by the time he's playing, makakalimutan na niya. You know what? May nabili na naman siyang bagong skin, bagong accessory, bagong jacket or shoes. Pinalitan na niya yung helmet ng ko. Lu- yung luho niya eh, di ba? Yun yung mga ano niya eh. So I think... It's, yeah, it's, it, reminding is fine. I, I, I game ako dyan. But you have to understand, don't put too much pressure on you also because yes, they're just really kids. And parang... Through, I mean, through time, yeah. parang but, you know, unti-unti nating, okay, It's something time. that we want them to also practice because, you know, eventually in life, we want them to remember the goal, the end goal that right. they have. Absolutely. That they're trying to work towards. Absolutely. So, you know, in, this is just like a small way of trying to practice that. Tama. I, I totally agree. And like, what we said we want to start them young yeah because I want I want my children to really know how to um, maneuver their money because navigate. navigate their money because that was something that I mm. I wish I learned until now I'm learning so much from this guy I'm, I'm, I'm constantly learning from other people as well so that's that's part of life uh, like what I mentioned a while ago, us investing, uh, you know, uh, the, the bonus, but whatever we get from whatever, and then investing it in blue chips, that's uh, that's what I've known. Some people might think, na, hmm, real, ano ako, proper, uh, property ako, or real estate ako, or what? I mean, kanya kanyan, but it, ito yung alam ko gawin, and, and I'm still. It's been working for It's you. been working for me. Don't get me wrong. But at the same time, I'm still open minded to other non higher risk <laughs> you know investments um, so yeah i think uh, we've pretty much uh, discussed Actually, you know what i want to i also want to oh, okay just a, something that i feel has helped me also with my with my spending cuz it means when you have a credit card love i know not everyone has one but means in kasi mga credit cards na yan, that can also get you in in a bad place okay. if you don't use it right so <laughs> i've never fallen into the the trap of paying only the minimum amount okay. i will pay so yeah, I'll, I'll, i have pay, a point there go ahead i will pay i will pay the total right away shempre when i pay the total right away what happens is nagkakaroon ng increase in my credit limit sa aking card. Guys. That's where they that, make money. It, it, it sounds good. <laughs> Natawa lang ako dito. Me, Natawa ako dito. Wait, what? You don't, you don't pay full? <laughs> I mean, get on. Oh, okay. uh, see, this, see, this is okay, what works with me. Learning It's funny because my sister naman, for the longest time, I own a credit card because she didn't want to fall into that hole. She didn't want to fall into that trap. Right. So she would only use her debit card because whatever money is in that card is really all the money that she has. Mm. So, ako naman, I, I don't want to... It's it's my habit to always pay in full the total amount. And should they start increasing my credit limit? Because, of course, it's good reputation or good... Credit limit. 
Yeah. Credit line. Or, yeah. Yeah. Hindi. Parang maganda yung, maganda yung reputation mo because you keep on paying. Right. Credit, credit score. Ah, uh, ganun ba yun? Mm. Ang pasag, ganun yun. Mm. <laughs> so, they will increase your credit limit sa card. So, mm. syempre, ibig sabihin, well, that means I can spend more. Right. What I do is, yes, I can spend more, but I don't want to. And means and I feel like when I use my credit card, means and hindi ko na mamalayan kung magkano ng ginastos ko. Especially like when we go on trips. Mm-hmm. Card, card, card. Means and hindi ko na alam. So I would rather I have a limit. Right. And I will call the bank and tell them to not increase my credit limit. Like mm-hmm. I'll ask them, can you please just keep it yeah. at this amount? Because kapag umabot na ako dun, ibig sabihin, I'm spending more than I really should be. Look. So that's that's something <clears throat> that I like to do. Look, that's super valid. Like, ako, I've I've never, I, I, ako, tali, ever since before, I I pay in full. It it was just like a form of payment, but I pay in full all, all the time, every month. Yun yung natutunan ko naman sa partner ko when I was young. Mm-hmm. But ang natutunan ko naman from other people, because I, 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 ako, I don't like that I have utang. Yeah. I don't like it. It's not in my... I want to pay right away. All I'm saying is that utang cannot be bad all the time. Yes. Businesses grow because of utang. Love. Uh, it's really a matter of how you do that. You know, how you, how you use the money. How you, how you handle the cash flow. So that's a, that's a different episode and that's a different episode with an expert with yes. regards to cash flow I, and, and utang. And I feel at some point many might need to make utang. Like absolutely. we needed to for our home. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Exactly. Oh, no man, oh, no man. Even, even with credit cards, uh, don't get me wrong, people use different credit cards to make ends meet. Because nga, it's, you're not paying right away. Mm. Diba? You have four weeks. You know what I mean? So sometimes people, okay, ito yung due date ko, ito yung babayaran ko, because nga, Times are hard, you know? Mm. But inflation rate is high and whatever. So ugh, that's that's a different but this is this is what we are doing. These are our practices. This is our practices in uh Ano pa naman? Hindi pa naman kinukuha yung bahay namin. Hindi <laughs> so, pa naman napuputol yung, uh, yung kuryente natin. Well, kuminsan. <laughs> kuminsan napuputol dahil... Anyway. Well, internet lang naman. Hindi internet, naman yung kuryente. Uh, 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 <laughs> dahil kala ko nakalink yung credit card. Tapos nun, may... Uh, anyway. Anyway. Anyway, hopefully you got something out of this. Um, hopefully there might be something that you might be able to practice and apply. And right. And will might hopefully work for you. If not, then it's a learning experience. <laughs> <laughs> but 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 yeah um in terms of not just money but in terms of uh, at least for me and i'm sure also for you that's why it's not i but it's we as a team we're just constantly trying to learn new ways to make life easier and to share whatever it is that we learn to our kids so that they will have their lives easier as well i guess and they can they, they can prioritize other stuff that no. is of more importance correct correct that's that's pretty much the end goal i think yeah no that's not the end goal the end goal is actually to extend their life no to extend quality the, the quality of life that's been given to them yes. correct so that's what we're going to try and help them with while also <sighs> trying to extend ours <laughs> yeah through exercise. Yes. Oh, oh, anyway. The difficulties, the challenges of being a parent. Yeah. But we're, we're trying our best. Hmm. Anyway. Hope you guys were able to get something from us. But thanks for uh, spending your time with us. Um, yeah, guys. We're still <laughs> here. And we super appreciate the, the feedback. We super appreciate the comments. Again, if you guys have uh, anything that you might want for us to talk about, just let us know. We have our IG. We have our Facebook. We also have our individual accounts. So, Life with the Aurelianos podcast. Cast. So, thanks for being with us again, guys. ka I love you. Welcome to the Life.